Merhaba everyone. If you watched my previous two videos, you know that this is my very first video on YouTube trying to bake a Turkish dish called börek. So this is the edited version of the same thing and I'm going to actually try to be more professional in my own ways of course and um, make these videos much shorter. You see the list of ingredients on the screen and I also listed them in the description below the video. Also as far as the spices goes we had cumin, we had a little bit of cinnamon, we had thyme, we had paprika, we had grounded black pepper, we had chili pepper, we had basil and we had mint, dry mint. If you have fresh, even better. For this dish, first thing that we have to do is just to make a sauce. And making the sauce is actually very simple. Basically, we mix everything together and give it a very good whisk. So, first I added milk to the bowl, then added the melted butter and added yogurt to it. At this point, I was supposed to add the one whole egg that I had actually and I was supposed to do include into the sauce, but well, I forgot. And actually throughout the day I added, I cooked it actually and I ate it, which was delicious anyway. And I have to say that the outcome really did not change. So basically if you do not like egg or if you have egg allergy or something, you can actually omit it. But it gives it a better puff, I guess. But anyway, so you give it a good whisk and after everything is actually mixed together, you're all set and you're all good to go. Then I oiled the bottom of the pan that I had with olive oil. As I said before, you don't really have to use olive oil. It's my preference. I use usually olive oil. That's all I have at home. You can use any oil, basically. Then you grab your fillet dough and something that it's good to pay attention to is like because the fillet dough is very thin and delicate, it dries up very fast. So you just grab few that you need to use and then cover the rest. And as you go through ahead the process, uh, you just do repeat the same thing. Anyway, uh, for the bottom layer, what is important is like to keep in mind that the thicker the bottom layer is, you will have a better outcome. Um, when you place first few sheets and you make sure that like, you know, they come out from the sides because like at the end of the process, we are going to cover the entire um, pastry with, with the parts which are coming out. You, you you might want to consider to take some pieces and just like, you know, cut them into different small pieces and place them in the bottom of the dish. Um, because when you uh, add the sauce, because this fillet dough is very thin and it actually can easily dissolve after it absorbs the sauce. So the thicker the bottom layer, the very first bottom layer is, you will have a better outcome. So that's something to uh, consider and actually try to make the bottom layer, the first bottom layer, thicker. And actually, you might want to do the same thing if you are using fillet dough. Um, if you have an international market at your town, you might look for this other type of dough, which is called yufka, and try with that. Yufka is thicker than fillet dough, so you will have a better outcome. Then, when you have like a middle section, um, I usually don't put sauce on it and I add my cheese to that layer. Again, I use this cheese, which is like called string cheese here. Um, you don't have to use this. You can use any cheese which would melt, um, even feta cheese with basil, sorry, with um, parsley would be very nice. Um, again, as I said, like this was my preference. You can use any cheese that you like and um, whatever, you know, appeals to your own personal taste would be perfect here. After you place all your cheese uh, in the middle, if you have a bigger uh, pan 
or like tray or whatever you're using to bake this thing um, you might want to consider to have like different layers with different like cheese in the middle but because my plate was a small i only put it like in the middle and then continue to add like few more layers of filo dough and um again if you have extra dough don't worry just make it like as thick as possible but keep in mind if you're pan is small this thing is going to rise and when it rises like the sauce is going to actually leak out of the thing when it is inside the oven so you have to be very careful either use a bigger pan or just like you know put enough amount considering like you know how much dough and how much sauce and how much like a uh, cheese you are using and um at this time i preheated my oven to 360 um that is like the um oven that i have like you know everybody knows their oven best so in my oven for 360 i usually put this in for one hour um sometimes like maybe 10 15 minutes longer because i really really like um these type of pastry type of dish that i make very crunchy um but if you don't like it crunchy and you like it softer you can just wait um till it is golden brown and you see that it raised enough and um that top layer is like you know golden brown then we can take it out and i usually put it like in the middle section of the oven not at the bottom and not at the top because if you put it at the bottom the bottom layers are going to cook very fast but not the middle and not the top and if you put it on the top then you're going to burn the top part very fast because remember the filo dough is very delicate then after you put all of your ingredients in you cover the top parts like and you bend over the part of the like you know main first layer that you put at the bottom uh, towards the top and then you add some sauce on, sauce on it and um, just make sure that like you know it covers like the sauce that you're putting over it covers entire especially corners because like the corners are kind of like thick and if you don't do that because they get like thick and there's so much dough there they can get like very dry and sometimes very hard and something else if you have extra sauce don't think that you have to really use the entire sauce just like you know play it by the eye or ear or whatever um, the expression is um, just use as much as you think it's sufficient you don't want to end up having something very mushy and soggy like you know um, just use a reasonable amount um, as you think is good for you and after you even it for having the best result it's better to make this the day before you want to cook it and let it sit in the refrigerator and rest for at least 12 hours i usually make it overnight and cook it the next day and this way actually it kind of um, allows for the thing to um, absorb like the sauce and like kind of get better this time of course i did not do that because i was hungry and i wanted to have this for dinner so i only waited like four hours so if you look at the corners especially like in the middle part you can see like that it did not um absorb the sauce very well and something else that i did which was kind of mistake i did not use an enough amount of filo dough so the thing that i was talking about before that like actually it can uh, melt kind of like dissolve when it's absorbing the sauce it actually happened here and it's good to actually cut it before you put it inside the oven because after it cooks it would be very difficult to cut this thing So when you take it out of the oven, be considerate of your fingers and your hands and arm because it's going to be super hot and you can easily burn yourself. And when actually you see that it is ready, I would suggest to let it sit there for like 
five to ten minutes because it kind of settles in if you immediately cut it and serve it i don't know i don't know how to express what i want to say frankly um but if you um just let it rest for yeah, at least five minutes and sit there uh, when you cut it and when you try to serve it you will have way better even pieces rather than if you try to just serve it immediately as you take it out of the oven uh, as you can see because i before cut it uh, before putting it into the oven i actually have the um the cut marks there so like you know i just went ahead and just cut the thing through the previously cut sections and um then it makes it makes it very easier to serve and um otherwise it would be very difficult and considering that like you know i like stuff crunchier than average person i would say for me it would be very much difficult to cut something which is very very crunchy and kind of hard and again because it is very hot pay attention to your hand and finger when you're holding the thing and when you're trying to cut it um, and this is the final product bon appetit if you try it let me know <laughs>